What it do, world? It's your girl, Danae. Welcome or welcome back to the God and Lie. Listen to me. These people fumbled you. They fumbled you because you are the exact replica of what you see is what you get. So they didn't recognize. They didn't want to accept. Let me tell you something. Listen to me. These people saw you. Sometimes we think people can't see us, right? And sometimes people can't because of their own limited perceptions or belief systems or whatever have you. But whoever I'm talking to, these people saw you. They saw your gifts, your talents, your beauty, your love. They saw how graceful you move. They saw how humble, empathetic, and compassionate you are. They saw you. They saw you. They saw everything about you. It was nothing about you they didn't see, okay? But these people saw you, right? But they didn't want to accept it. It was something about their fears, their insecurities, their worries, their stressors that would not allow them to fully accept you for the beautiful being that you truly are. You are a different type of masterpiece, okay? You are the most beautiful, miraculous masterpiece that exists and that this person has ever come across. So let me tell you something. You scared them. Like, you you terrified the hell out of them, okay? Listen. You literally terrified the hell. You know, hell is a form of death, dying. It's a form of not even living, right? You, you, you scared that out of them. You made this person want to live again. Ah, oh, my, thank you, Holy Spirit. You literally revived this person. You revived this person and you removed the death, literally the hell out of this person. Oh, Wow, who am I talking to? You remove the hell out of this person to the point to where they couldn't even. Wow, thank you, Holy Spirit. They couldn't even recognize themselves. That's what it was. They saw you. (laughs) Oh, that's a good message there, Spirit. Oh, my God. These people saw you, but they couldn't accept you. That's a message. Come or lean in. For a second, they couldn't accept you because accepting you would have meant rejecting who they thought they were. Oh my God, you better blow my mind. Listen, accepting you for who you truly are meant that they would have had to reject every aspect of who they ever thought they were. And they didn't want to have to do that. They didn't want to have to admit certain things about themselves that they deep down always knew wasn't true. So in order for them to fully accept you, it meant that they would have had to have let go of this false belief or false perceptions, false ideologies, false ideals, ideals of who they thought themselves to be, even though they were never really that person. But because they didn't want to let go of those fears, worries, insecurities or stressors, they didn't want to let those things go. Oh, that's a message. That just blew my mind. Listen to me. They fumbled you. They fumbled you because you are literally the exact replica of what you see is what you get. They were so wrapped up in their false ideals, concepts, beliefs, constructs that in order to fully accept you for you, they would have had to walk away or denounce and deny, reject the aspects of them that they thought they were for a long time. And they weren't ready to do that. So they fumbled you. And I'm I'm hearing give them grace. That does not mean let them back in your life. It just means give them grace. (laughs) Give them grace. I'm just, I'm, I'm hearing that message. Give them grace. But they did fumble you. They fumbled you because you are the exact replica of what you see is what you get. And the beautiful thing about this message is that even though whether or not this relationship is going to continue or to fully be in, baby, you literally removed the hell out of them. You removed the dead, all the dead particles and pieces and aspects out of them. You revived them in such a way that they didn't fully appreciate how much you truly revived them from They didn't appreciate how much you revived them or they didn't recognize how much you revived them until you left their life. And then they saw because they tried to go back to all the dead parts of them, 
all the things that they used to do that wasn't living. It wasn't life. They tried to go back to those things and they realized how dull and damp or unhealthy or toxic those things were. They kept trying to convince themselves. They kept trying to find you, i.e. life. You are literally life in physical form, right? You're not living your life, baby. Oh, that is a message. <laughs> you are life in physical form. And when you removed yourself, it was almost like all those dead pieces in them kind of started to settle in again. Because they didn't know how to live literally without you. Mm. That's the message, y'all. Let me know whose message, whose word this was. Peace and love, beautiful beings. Until next time. Deuces. Like, comment, share, follow, subscribe for more. Deuces.